hey y'all it's your girl mimi and we're back with another video in today's video i have a client who has very short hair in certain areas so i'm going to actually be doing two strand twists um he wanted the desired outcome to be kind of like at his shoulders and his hair is not all at his shoulders some of it is like layered in certain areas and some is just a little bit shorter so I'm just prepping his hair now just to make sure everything's nice and clean, detangle, you guys know the process. And then I get my blow dry on, make sure you always use the heat protectant, y'all. So in this method, you guys will see that I did pre-part his hair and I braided it down probably about a half an inch per braid. It really just depends on how short this section was. The shorter the section, the further I tried to braid it down just so it can have something to hook onto so the hair doesn't slide or anything. Um, I prefer this method over rubber bands because the rubber bands can add too much tension and I feel like with the braids it doesn't add tension and also it still gives me the option to make this look like a natural twist versus the rubber band. After I crochet the hair in, I do separate the ends a little bit so that way it's not too blunt, especially since I cut the pack in half to get him that shoulder length look. So y'all can see his hair is a lot shorter. So in order to hold those pieces in, I am using a little bit of shine and jam just to kind of get it nice and smooth and also tuck his natural hair. So I'm going to be starting it as a twist. So I'm rotating the strands and I'm including his hair in one of those strands. And I'm rotating my strands both in the same direction. So to the right side, so you'll see I'm twisting the hair while twisting it. So I'm going to rotate it a little bit. You guys see how it's getting tighter at the roots because I'm spinning the hair in between my fingers. After I spin it, I began to actually twist it around. That is how you guys get a twist to stay. You can't just wrap it around itself and then expect it to stay. You have to like rotate it a little bit. This is also why the gel kind of helps. So as I go down, I kind of get into a groove as I'm twisting. And you don't have to twist it too tight, but you do want to twist it enough. And it doesn't matter what direction that you guys twist in, as long as you're consistent, you wanna make sure that all the braids look pretty similar. To make it look natural, you can also throw like some Okay, so now that I'm finished that twist, I'm taking the twist above that one just to measure it. This one is actually on the bottom row, so I want that to be slightly longer than the one above it so it can give it more of a layered effect. This would vary by the person, so you guys make sure you have a thorough consultation so that way you can know what your client wants for their desired outcome. But based off the picture, it was kind of a little bit of like a layered look. So I'm going to repeat the process a few more times just so you guys can see it.
all right y'all so the video is starting to come to an end but before i go i have to tell you of course how to do the finishing touches so you guys are going to see me apply mousse i'm using the shine and jam mousse i either use shine and jam or nairobi for my braids it really just depends on what i have available or what the store has available at that time but i prefer the shine and jam one because it's specified for braids and i don't have to let my clients stay under the dryer versus nairobi is deactivated so at the very end, I'm gonna put the mousse everywhere and then I blow dry it with my blow dryer. You can either have them sit under the hooded dryer or use your handheld dryer. You just wanna make sure that it dissolves most of the way through and this helps control flyaways and it helps keep everything in shape and set. I hope this video helps somebody. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe and I'll see y'all in the next video. Thanks for watching.